Hello, everyone, and uh, uh, happy to be here to uh, present my paper for uh, this very interesting conference. And I'm talking about uh, design discourse uh, emerged in the Eastern Mediterranean uh, region. Uh, in this context, I'm talking about um, countries in the region or major countries in the uh, Eastern Mediterranean. Uh, Egypt, Palestine, Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, and Iraq. These countries known for their uh, support and uh, pioneering position in emerging the modernity project in the region, influencing and shaping uh, this discourse uh, since uh, uh, it's emerged through 30s or 40, 40s and last century. Uh, studies about design discourse in the region is very limited. There is lots of uh, 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 publications in Arabic, but talk about design as an art, not as what design should be uh, right now. And this uh, traditional context affected a lot in, in design discourse in the region, design education, design professional practice, and the way people uh, look and understanding design as uh, adding value through ornamentation of the object. Following uh, the hugely influence of the socio-political rhotic in the region, the paper will be divided into four sections, if you like. These sections uh, addressing uh, periods uh, moving the countries from colonized international state into uh, current chaos uh, uh, reflected through uh, the situation in many societies in the country uh, in the region sorry with the colonization after the long term uh, ottoman empire control on the region and uh, the weakness and losing the first world war british and french come to the region with lots of uh, plans so first thing they did it is divided the region through borders into states and start uh, dividing these states between the two colonized powers so iraq jordan went to under the british uh, uh, colonization and then later the mandate system and uh, syria and lebanon under the french uh, looking to the social activity, we see craft-oriented societies uh, in, in countries like Egypt, Syria, while Iraq and Jordan, with their position geographically around the desert, they are more semi-nomadic uh, societies. And here I just try to explain uh, our relation with objects uh, from this point. So. Uh, in Egypt, for example, crafts is embedded within the society from the history and it's affected and as a system, you see, it's, it's very uh, expanded within the society and, and the families uh, uh, transforming these skills through generations. Until now, uh, all the craft people in, in Egypt, specifically, they are still producing traditional designs. And uh, this affected heavily on, on design education in Egypt. In fact, you don't find any institution, for example, with the title design in it, but all the institutions teaching design, they teach it as part of applied arts. And this is... Uh, uh, Phenomena, this phenomenon only actually in Egypt, while the other countries, they have uh, departments or uh, school of design, but it is part of art-oriented institutions. Moving to the uh, post-colonial uh, era, which is from, for example, in Iraq from uh, uh, 22 until uh, uh, late of the 50s, uh, there is lots of influence from the colonial in the uh, created states. At that time is the kingdom in Iraq and 
this is very interesting quote uh, saying that uh, during the uh, 50s, Iraq seemed to have a hugely promising future, perhaps as a kind of Oriental Canada at that time. And this fact uh, uh, reflected on what's on, a, on, the, on the ground, if you like. So Baghdad started to be one of the capital in the work in, in international architecture and transforming the heritage, the old style uh, cities into modern cities. And this is what happened in Baghdad at that time. Uh, we see uh, the Greek uh, um, planning, for example, uh, consultant, uh, the Axel says he, he made the first uh, uh, master plan of Baghdad based on the modernity context completely and transform it from being a heritage uh, uh, city into a very modern city and start building uh, these uh, mass production, if you like, houses at that time. And that was amazing things happen. People till now, they talk about it and how it's efficient, how it's uh, uh, very interesting uh, places to live in it comparing with their previous houses. Uh, we see uh, Le Corbusier build this uh, stadium in Baghdad. Uh, Gropius uh, built the University of Baghdad campus and all these buildings exist, but actually it exists. Uh, it's, it's a start or commissioned in, in 50s, but built in uh, 60s and 70s later look to the uh, uh, cities at that time, transforming the city. This is Baghdad during 60s. And you can see the, the, the traditional building with the new style building. And this building is actually, actually is not by only international architects, but even from the local Iraqi architecture. Beirut during this era as well as very civic and uh, modern oriented capital and culturally oriented capital in the region. Until now, it's, it's, it's exists with this context. When the national states uh, uh, moved, uh, uh, design context transformed from this orient, uh, modernity oriented into engage it with uh, development uh, strategies in the region or in these countries, affected by uh, the, the social oriented governments uh, come into the control in the region. Uh, such example of international influences like Ahmed Abad declaration in design for development, it utilized very well, specifically for example, uh, in Iraq in the region, he is the only uh, uh, regional country signed this, this uh, document. Uh, and uh, uh, these, uh, socio-political uh, regimes start to uh, look how uh, to, to create identity through design. And design start to be specifically in uh, com design communication and architecture, how we uh, create our identity through it. Uh, technology transformation, it start to be very effective, very energetic, lots of uh, factories opened in Egypt produce uh, cars, home appliances, and there is lots of work for designer to do in this process. Same thing in Syria, textile industry is very uh, popular and, and it's very important industrial uh, activity in Syria and it was internationally recognized. Architecture in Iraq, we're gonna see lots of influence from the uh, elements from Islamic architecture transformed to the uh, uh, contemporary architecture and applied in many projects actually in Iraq. It was even policies uh, enforce architecture designer to work with this uh, topic. This is one of the uh, entrance to one of the big universities in Baghdad even the state start to be promoted itself through uh, this uh, elements, through uh, monuments and uh, museums and uh, other uh, uh, public places where 
Islamic architecture start to be more modernized and utilized even with high technology production uh, capabilities. After this era, it was the, the era of chaos. Most of the countries, for example, in Iraq, Syria, kind of the same in, in Egypt, but in, in a less influence. And uh, we see during this era that the control of the government start to be losing in a way, and uh, more uh, uh, new uh, uh, graduated designer from ma mainly from outside uh, the region, retain back to the region and start to think and design in a different way. So in, in, in Lebanon, for example, uh, uh, this uh, MENA Design Research uh, Center where they look to design from social context. It is not all about art and craft and making. We need to think and design as a tool to help our societies improving uh, their uh, or uh, solving their problems, there is massive a problem need to a creative way of thinking to use it. And design can do this uh, in, in, in much better way than anything else. And they start move of uh, design week in the region or kind of uh, tradition to talk about design. And the first one happened in, in, in Beirut. Uh, now, I think three or four uh, uh, years, uh, it's very active, uh, repeated in, in another uh, capital city in Amman, even with the fact that in Amman, the, the more focus on professional uh, uh, design instead of applying design in the context of social uh, activities, but it's just a wearing of, of the important of design in, in this process. In Egypt, uh, we see more uh, focus on communication design and such example of many people working in this direction and uh, they continue improving uh, their activities year after year. And uh, my point, these activities uh, start to engage and, and re-changing the culture of design uh, in the region, and this is what I try to uh, explain through my uh, uh, full paper. Thank you.